having COVID cases. And, you know, one of my friends the other day said that he knew some, he knew someone's wife, like one of his, uh, one of his acquaintances' wife had COVID here real recently. So apparently it's still going around, still making its, uh, still making its rounds. That's, you know, that's probably something that we're going to live with for the rest of our life. And, uh, that's what I think of it. Does anyone find it kind of weird that now that COVID is dying down, like, the hype about COVID is dying down, now we've got a brand new virus making its rounds, monkeypox. Does anyone else find it weird that... You know, since the panic of COVID is is now for the most part gone, now we have a new panic of monkeypox. <laughs> I'm, I'm not laugh I'm not laughing at monkeypox itself. I'm laughing at the fact that we have to have something to panic about all the time, constantly now. It's like we can't get a freaking break. We're not, it's like we're not allowed to get a break. You know, it's, I'm not, I'm not saying that monkey pox isn't, you know, I'm not saying that it's not real. I'm not saying that it's not going around. But, I, I'm questioning whether or not it's going around naturally. Because guys, it's, it, it would, Monkey Pox was discovered in 58, 1958, okay? Now, it, it, it's a very rare disease, it's, you know, it, it, I, just, <laughs> I just don't get it. It's supposed to, you know, it, it's supposed to be hard for person-to-person -person transmission, and now it's, now it's blowing up all over the world, just like COVID did. Now, supposedly it's not anywhere near as bad as COVID, like the, the, the transmission rating or whatever, whatever it is. I can't remember, the, the R factor, I think is what it is. It, it's not as bad as that. Like it's harder to, it's harder to spread around supposedly. Well, I mean, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Coming down the, you know, coming down in the future. Like, I, I just, I just find it weird that, you know, we always have to have something to panic about, something to worry about. Um, and, you know, My wife knew someone, I'm not going to say where, it's a city, but I'm not going to say where, y'all probably know if you're seen, if you, you know, if you know where I used to live and shit like that, then you might figure it out, but she used to know, or she knows somebody, and she's a normie, pretty much, no, not pretty much, she is the, like, spot on definition of normie, as in, no life skills, nothing. I mean, she power goes out for uh, 48 hours, and she's probably going to die of like thirst or something. Or she's gonna. She would die of like severe dehydration in like 24 hours of not having any power. That's how. That's how bad she is. Like, it, it, it's horrible. Anyways, she was, like, the definition of I'm going to listen to the mass media and I'm going to religiously follow them, believe them, and pretty much just worship CNN, that kind of stuff. It, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. She's what we call, she has daddy's money. So, she, you know, she's got money and it's... Yeah, she, she's... Anyways, getting off topic. People like...
like that are going to follow the monkey pox thing and they're going to pretty much freak out and we could be seeing a whole new version of COVID lockdowns except for monkey pox. Now, COVID had a relatively low fatality rate. Now, I had COVID, and it was not fun. <laughs> it was horrible. But I never got uh, I never got vaccinated for it, and I know I don't plan on it. Now, monkeypox supposedly has up to like a ten percent death rate. But I think it's more along what I've read was more along the lines of three to six percent, which isn't a lot. But if you see, if you remember how they reacted to COVID and their overreaction to that, imagine what they're going to do with something that they say can have up to a ten percent fatality rate. I think they would go absolutely batshit insane. By no, no, by no means am I exaggerating. I think they would go absolutely batshit insane if they, if you know, if it's if it's as bad as what you know, as bad as a ten percent fatality rate. If if it really is that bad, can you? Can you imagine what they're going to do? Like, you can't leave your home for a, a month, let's say. Uh, can't leave your home for a month. It'd probably go as far as saying you, you've got to put a mask on your air filter for your house or something. You know, that, that's, that, that's probably some of the ridiculousness that would come with... Uh, this monkeypox thing, especially with the incompetent fucking, sorry about the language, but incompetent administration that we've got. Now they're so stupid. They say, oh, let's, we're going to follow the science, we're going to follow the science, and they're, um, they're not actually following the science, they're following their doctrine, they're following their their agenda, they're not following the science. Masks don't work. If they followed the science, then they would understand that you don't need a freaking surgical mask to stop a virus like that. You would need a freaking full on face mask like a full on gas mask type mask that's what you would need but they want to you know they want to make everyone feel like they're doing their part or you know they want to make sure people feel safe because their feelings matter instead of actually doing something that would actually have an effect. But no, you know, all they're doing was making it to where people felt like they were making a difference or making people felt like they were safer. Again, if they, if, if this is as bad as what, you know, they say it could be up to a 10% fatality rate, if it is really that bad, think of what they could do. And now the, the WHO wants to, what, like take control of the world or something. Is this, a, is this their one world government kind of thing? Probably. But what do I know? I'm just a dumb truck driver, right? This is why we say to have such and such amount of food and water at home. 
take a look in your pantry right now and really ask yourself, could I be locked down in my house for a month at minimum without needing to leave? Do you have enough food in your house to last you a month right now without needing to leave? Do you have enough water? Because COVID was ridiculous. I'm not saying it's fake because there's, you know, there's a lot of people died from it. But COVID was ridiculous. Their response to COVID was ridiculous. And the lies about COVID was ridiculous. And then they used those lies to justify lockdowns the way they did. Now imagine all of that 10 times worse. You know, a lot longer. Imagine that with monkey paws. Now, I don't know if, you know, maybe they would want to try to lock people down for a month. Who knows? Would I put it past them? Hell no. I wouldn't put it past them. They're a bunch of control freaks. It's all, it's, what it really is all about is control. And like I said, I'm not saying monkey pox isn't real because, you know, it's just now coming out. But I do have you know, I am questioning it really hard, though, because, again, guys, it's a more rare disease. You know, it's related to smallpox. Smallpox is supposedly eradicated, you know, at least throughout most of the planet. Now, monkeypox, like I said, has been around since 58, but... <laughs> it's... It's supposed to be a rare disease, and it's supposed to be harder to transmit between people to people. And now it's spreading, I'm not going to say it's spreading like wildfire, but it's spreading around the population pretty damn quickly, from what I'm hearing. And I just, just heard about it the other day, and now it's hundreds of cases worldwide. Huh? Now, from what I see, it looks like it's a pretty bad, you know, it's a pretty bad disease. And, you know, it looks pretty painful. And, uh, you know, history says that most people recover. But this doesn't seem like the the regular old monkey pox because the CDC is con confused or CDC or WHO they're, they're confused on how it's spreading so quickly so could this possibly be a new strain of it could the clean freak measures of COVID have to have a role to play in, in this everyone is you know, so concerned about cleaning everything, sanitizing everything. Hell, it wouldn't surprise me if some Karen sanitized a frickin' hot dog before she ate it. Could this over-clean freak nature of everyone now, of post-COVID, be have a role to play in how this is spreading so quickly? Because... You know, when you, when you clean and sanitize everything, you're actually hurting yourself. You're actually hurting your immune system. Now, I remember as a kid, I one time I dropped, uh, I had a bag of Cheetos and I accidentally dropped the bag onto an asphalt road and then I ate them. No shame. You know, kid, kid stuff. That's what we did as kids. You know, still alive. Still perfectly fine. But that wouldn't happen nowadays if not, you know. <laughs> yeah, some parents would probably scold the child for doing that. Now that's, 
that's the old way of boosting your immune system, you know, is, uh, you know, we played in the dirt, we got dirty, you know, we did shit as kids that kids nowadays wouldn't even dare do because they're afraid of germs, but those germs is what helps our immune system. And now everyone's immune system is compromised because, well, I'm not going to say everyone's immune system is compromised, but a lot of people's immune system is now compromised because of the obsessive cleaning disorder everyone has has adopted oh, since 2020. It's, it blows my mind. It's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I just hope that, you know, I hope everyone is overreacting to the whole monkeypox thing, and I hope it's really not as bad as what they're saying, and I hope there isn't as many cases as they're saying, but I don't know who we can trust anymore. You know, when it comes to the media, I don't really trust any of them anymore. They've proven themselves to be really untrustworthy. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Monkeypox is 110% something to keep an eye on. It is... I'm not going to say it's, it's a, you know, it's not a laughing matter. You know, it, it's a real disease or it's a real virus. It's a real thing. You know, it's something that's real. And we need to keep an eye on it. More importantly, we need to keep an eye on on how the WHO responds, how the CDC responds, how 